March 24th, 2024, day two. So um, today has been a busy day. It's been pretty hectic. Uh, usual editing, thumbnail stuff in the morning. Then we had uh, a full shooting day today. It's Sunday today. It's two Sundays in a row I've done a shooting day. Today we've done the beans video, which will be pretty funny, uh, which is taste testing all the beans in Britain. <laughs> uh, and then Joe wanted to do two videos. So I set up the, the set for her as well. Including moving pictures and stuff, it was mad, but it was good. Uh, but yeah, good day shooting wise. Um, done some thumbnail stuff for the Beans in Britain video. I think I've got a solid thumbnail down for that now. Pardon me. Uh, but yeah, what have I been thinking about strategy wise? Um, oh. Uh, I don't know, I was watching Dan Mace's podcast and it's kind of re that Casey Neistat thing in me, like the go, go, go. Um, but yeah, I don't know how sustainable that is. So I'm not going to try daily vlogs and stuff, I'm just going to chill it a little bit. You know, spend the time with my family and stuff, because that's what I've done the past couple of days and I've loved it. Um, is, you know, doing some YouTube, but doing some family stuff, but honestly, if I could, I would be busy busy all the time but you know pick and choose the things you want to do and the time you want to spend with the people and the people you want to spend it with but uh on the youtube front i think one thing that has resonated with me today is thumbnails i was looking originally to see if i could maybe pay someone to do it so i was looking on fiverr and stuff but none of them really had thumbnails that were really up to the quality that i was looking at i was honestly willing to pay like you know 25 quid or something for a decent one but they're all like nine quid and pretty just generic Photoshop templates. So I'm not going to go for that. Um, so what's the guy, Joshua Wiseman or something? He's got a couple of cool thumbnails and I like that cartoony Mr. Beast style a little bit too. So mesh of the both, but no. anyway, so I'm just going to do my own that I can in my own way. Uh, but yeah, I've been thinking about thumbnails about how I need to spend more time on them, I think, because unless you're creating really captivating content and you can just get a quick easy thumbnail and the topics are so good because see I think that's the weird allure with like Casey Neistat is that he has this simple formula with a simple thumbnail simple title and like simple edit um but it's because it's just like, it's his style and it's so perfected through years of making movies that by the time it came to like daily vlog time, he was already an amazing storyteller and this was his style. Whereas for instance, for me, I'm like, it's weird because you're making like daft videos on the surface. It's like I'm making videos about beans, <laughs> tasting beans or eating broccoli all day for a couple of days. But you know, it's not like I'm making impactful, powerful storytelling as such, but it is, you know, it is filmmaking to some extent. Uh, at least it has hints of it. It's not necessarily filmmaking, but it kind of is. It's like a new age version. Uh, but yeah, so I think there's an allure there. It's the same like Sam Sulek, that whole thing of, you know, just videoing yourself, just, just working out or whatever. But in reality, it's like these people are, extraordinary at something and I mean that literally extraordinary and so they can do it wrong and it's their style and it's still appreciated so like if I was a amazing storyteller or if I was absolutely jacked and pure young it's weird we'll saying that now because normally I would say that I would be young but I don't know um, <laughs> then it would work but when you're just making stuff and you're developing a style because that's the thing, like, Sam so like, you're like, oh, you know, he's still developing his storytelling style or whatever, and it's like, yeah, but it's not so much his thing is not storytelling, whereas Casey Nice, that's his storytelling through the medium of, you know, video, whereas Sam so like, it's, he's jacked, and he's telling you all about that and hanging out with you. That's his thing, and he is jacked, so he's already good at that, if you know what I mean. So... I don't have a thing that I'm necessarily specifically good at that I don't think, but I like to make stuff. I like to make movies, I suppose, is what I would say. Make visual content. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of doing things that I want to do. And I keep thinking that my channel, I'm like, 
oh, should I upload this? So, like, for instance, at work, we made a terrarium, and I'm like, should I upload this terrarium video of me making it and slagging it off? And then I'm like, nah, but it doesn't really fit my new style that I'm going for of this, like, proper YouTuber doing proper YouTube stuff. And then I was like, yeah, but that me trying to be a proper YouTuber is just me trying to fit the mold. It's not me doing what I want to do. And I have like 400 subscribers. So I just, just do whatever I want. And then eventually I'll find stuff that I like to do. It's like if I really dedicate myself to doing it, it's like I've been writing intros and kind of mini scripts and cut scene changes and stuff. And although when you watch it, you might be just like you randomly did this thing. It's like either thought through or I've thought it through before in other videos and I'm trying to incorporate it now. So it's kind of like the weird thing of like, uh, when people like write really crap poems and you're like, that's it, it's like 20 words, it took you like a month. But the thing is, is it's deliberate. It's the same with music, you know, someone writes like a three minute song, it has like one chorus and three verses and that's it pretty much. But it took them ages and it's because it's all about like perfecting it and tweaking it and thinking about it and, you know, nine tenths of something is just doing it. Just doing the thing. Anyway, I suppose what I'm just trying to say is that I'm trying to validate my decision of A, putting so much time and effort into something like this, which could be perceived by people as being something that's daft. Because I feel like that's a kind of chip on my shoulder that I have, like, being so well-educated and having, you know, prospects as such within tech or whatever. That you feel as if, it's not that, is this beneath me as such? Because that's not what it is. It's more like, are people going to look at me and be like, you're wasting your time doing what? Making YouTube videos with me. But... I like it, man. And that's the realisation I've had since having Harris, is that, you know, if I like something, just do it. Like, I'm pretty nihilistic. I don't believe in, there's a point to anything. Everything just kind of happens. There's, yeah, that's it. I'm quite the nihilist. And so then I think to myself, I'm like, if there's no point in anything, then just do what you want. Who cares? So, that's where we are now, <laughs> making videos. Um... But yeah, I suppose my key takeaways from today are focus a lot on thumbnails because if people don't click, they're not going to watch. So I'm getting like a two and a bit minute retention, even in stuff I've not really edited, just stuff. Which is alright considering it's not really edited for retention. But my click-through rates can be as low as 0.8%. So I know my title and thumbnails are bad, but some of them are as high as like 5, but the average is probably like 2, between 1.6 and 2.8. Anyway, that click-through rate, I try to tweak it by changing the thumbnail and title or whatever, but I'm realising now that it's like, what's the point in spending, say, literally 15 hours editing a video, five planning it and recording it, so you're like 20 hours or something, and then you spend like two hours on the thumbnail, so then you've just wasted that, not wasted, but in regards to at hitting or at reaching that you are basically making a really bad front cover for your book and they say you don't judge a book by its cover but when you go into the library all you see is covers so it's the same thing with youtube it's like you know don't judge a video by its thumbnail but i mean if the thumbnail is crap you're not gonna click it so spend more time in thumbnail second is probably don't get caught up in this idea of wanting to be busy 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 all the time Busy does not mean productive. And even if it is productive, ensure that it's productive towards your goal. So running around, putting a light here, taking a video here, or trying this script here, or making this video, like a specific video, even like the beans video, for example, is that I only made that because I already had a bunch of beans and I thought, that could be a funny video. I wasn't really passionate about it. And I wasn't going to force myself to sit down and write a mini script that I'd done it. And I was like, you know, actually, that would be pretty funny. Let's just do it. It's fun. Um, but it's not like a, I want to make that video. That would be such a good video to make. <sighs> Whatever point that was, I don't remember. That second point. Um, and then the third point is stop justifying to yourself 
whether it's a good or bad idea. Because I feel like I've been programmed through my life to thinking if it's not something that's proper like white collar or something like that, then it's not real. But it's weird because I've seen behind the curtain for years now and like even guys at what say are too old for your age in regards to how mm, like uh it's nihilistic right word. I don't know. Whatever the word would be and uh how pessimistic I look at the corporate world. But you know, don't want to be a part of it, I don't think. Don't really like it. I want to I want to do this. Um which was refreshing when I watched the Mr. Beast video the other day, like a podcast. I don't really like watching his videos. Not really up my alley, but I like listening to him. I think he's got a lot of value to give. Um obviously. <laughs> and he was talking about that when he's like when people say why do you want to be a YouTuber? He's like, I just do. And I think that's a problem that I had my whole life is this idea of being like just do stuff. I would always question it. Why do I like this? Why do I want to do this? To my absolute detriment to like it would think me into like not depression, but almost that type of situation where it's just constant in your mind all the time and you just feel so defeated by it and so exhausted. And I remember a couple of years ago just being like, you know, fuck it. I'm not doing it anymore. You know, if I feel something and that's the way I feel, that's the way I feel, man. Um, but yeah, so... So tired, like it was in my train of thought. Anyway, I'm gonna go. The strategy is focus on thumbnails as well as videoing, but uh, generally just make videos that you want to make. So, there's a lot of things going on in my mind. I've got to read this.